Good day, good day. <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. How the honk are ya? I hope that you are keeping calm and carrying on during this time. Yeah, soon we won't have to talk about this. Well, we will. We will say, remember back in 2020 when we uh, just watched YouTube videos because we were in lockdown? Well, guess what I've got for you today? We have got the Corgi number 438. Yes. Oh, ba-bam. We're upside down. <laughs> so here it is, the Land Rover 109 wheelbase Corgi toys. This would be what they call the um, number 438, okay? Uh, this came in a shadow box with the cover on it. Uh, this would, um, come with a tilt, a tan tilt, and on the side of it, uh, this, uh, early one with the concave wheels and, uh, the rubber, rubber wheels, uh, aluminum mag wheels there. Now, I did replace some of these, uh, wheels, as you see, I replaced them with, uh, you know, the good old, uh, o-rings i did uh yeah uh, with the 1 8 id 5 16 and the od 9 16 from uh oh hardware hanks from the hardware store just down the street so uh yeah so anyway this one is uh looks like it got pooped on but anyway <laughs> So I have two of these buggers of the earlier models. Now, uh, it has the lemon interior on it. Um, now, these, all those are, uh, you know, I just didn't want them sitting on the rims. So I put those uh, uh, O-rings on them. But here, this is, they are a right hooker. You guys all know the Corgis. This is a Series 1 Eggs on the Grill. Uh, like I was telling you, it comes with a tan tilt with the logo on the side, Lam Lamprey, L-E-P-R-A, Lampra, Lampra, and I'm not really sure what Lampra is. Uh, you guys can uh, comment down below and tell me what Lampra is. I think it's, uh, I'm going to say it's a shipping company. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> but anyway, we're looking at the 438 uh, Corgi, and uh this is the early models with the uh, aluminum uh, concave or with the uh, milled uh, hubs with rubber tires. So very nice example. I don't have any with the um, the the tilt on it. Um, I just have these models here. This one here, I, I probably could clean. I don't know what that is on there, but it looks like a barn find, doesn't it? <laughs> but a uh, very beautiful model. has a big, huge hook on the, ed, on the end of it. Uh, uh, now, they did use this for a, um, uh, what do they call it, uh, uh, weapons carrier also. A uh, little bit different colored green and stuff like that. So uh, that was the early model right here. And you can see the front bumper is taking a hit on both corners. But uh, very, very interesting. You know, that wheel, that doesn't, I mean, that almost looks like my replacement wheel, doesn't it? But it it's old, it's cracked, and it's got whatever on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's how close those uh, O-rings uh, look to it. But uh yeah, very, very kind of cool. Really, really cool. Uh, light gray. Uh, it does come with a, uh, or light tan tilt. It does come with a, a gray tilt. And then just recently I saw a uh, in the box 438 with a red tilt. So I don't know how uh, rare those are, but uh, yeah, pretty kind of cool. So this is the early model with the aluminum milled hubs on it, 438. And as we move along, um, the 438 kind of got a facelift uh, for Corgi, and it came out with a kind of metallic green. Metallic green, same kind of thing. Uh, the metallic greens came with a, a, a really dark drab green tilt to it. 
tire on the hood again still had the uh, aluminum wheels in it now these are original wheels as far as I know um, this uh, they have Corgi on written right on the wheels or in, uh, embossed or uh, cast right in the wheels very very nice um, yeah this is kind of one of my nicer set of wheels that I have but uh, lemon interior and a teal color uh, same thing same thing as the old ones just this is a little bit different uh, the tail hook on this one has got some uh, city folks done run right into my land rover there <laughs> so there you go so that was uh, later on uh, and then in uh, the most recent days before they they went away um, they went with um, the plastic whiz wheels so they went with whiz wheels and we're going to look at this one first so they're a plastic one piece got good suspension to them put it on the top hood there uh, on the bonnet uh, still a series three still the great wonderful paint job uh, very clean little bit different uh, tow hook to it now it's gone with this plastic one versus uh, the uh, metal one a big hard metal one so uh, yeah just very very different there but um, the other notable thing that really is different and I, I've got two of them here with whiz wheels but this is the interesting part there it is the right hooker it has a black steering wheel in it now that is different than the one with the aluminum uh, milled hubs which is kind of a silver I don't know if you can really see that but that's a silver inserted into the lemon dash the uh, lemon colored interior this one's a black one that's inserted into the lemon colored dash with the whiz wheels and then this last one whiz wheels teal right hooker with a uh, molded in the the lemon yellow dash it's all part of the same dash so I'm going to say that this is and then look at the uh, hitch here way much different <laughs> boy I got the grasp of English language don't I anyway yeah just a very very different type of tow hook there um, bigger and boy we can't we can't focus we can as focus as good as I can speak English <laughs> oh well yeah just you can tell it's a, a different length uh, different style uh, I'm going to say that this is uh, the later style, so uh, much, much different, uh, you can tell in the casting there. Uh, using the same uh, um, attachment method through the base there, uh, different colors, so, so yeah, so we have uh, one uh, different uh, inter the, the first edition of the uh, 438. We have the second edition, which still has the two-piece uh, aluminum uh, milled uh, with the lemon, but uh, teal. And then we have uh, the uh, plastic toe hitch with the black inserted, uh, still an inserted uh, steering wheel into the dash, but with the whiz wheels. And then this latest one, which I would think is the latest, latest one, saving money on not having a uh, different um, steering wheel piece. It's all molded into one different honk and uh, toe hitch on there, but still a whiz wheel. So there you go. Very interesting. I Like I say, I... Uh, I get these off eBay. I, I might have bought one of these in the wild. Uh, corgis do get out and about quite a bit. Um, but uh, yeah, very interesting. Uh, I buy them in any and all conditions just for this kind of reason. Uh, you know, the interiors, the, the progression, you know. Uh, I'm not an expert at this, uh, these corgis. And uh, so, you know, I'm just showing you what I got and trying to learn um, 
from other people. That's why I started Roverland, and so you guys can share what you have with me with my passion right here on Roverland. So, hey, come on over to Facebook. I always point over here. Go over to Facebook to <laughs> join me at uh, Roverland Facebook page. Ask to be a member. We can uh, make notes, comments, drop pictures of your number 438 corgis. And, uh, you know, show me some of the tilts that you guys have. The light tan, the gray, the red. Do you have a red one? Do you have them in the box? I know I know. Gene's going to show me or Roy's going to show me what they got in the box over there across the big, the big water. <laughs> so, uh... And then on Instagram, Roverland channel, you can uh, join me up over there. All right, that's going to be it. Hey, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Boy, that's a big thumb. Give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, you need to subscribe. Yeah, we're growing uh, one by one, week by week. We're growing, so that's awesome. All right, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for joining me for a Corgi 1438. And as always, on the way out, we say slow traffic, keep right. Have a great rover day.